everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to install the Pandora radio client for Linux called Pythos. So Pythos is available on Fedora via a RPM Fusion install, uh, Ubuntu via the, the repository PPA, but uh, the developers and myself, I agree with these guys, say that you should use Flatpak. So this is how we're going to install it. So first you need to do is you need to make sure that you have the Flathub repo added. And this, doing this right here, if you do sudo and then that, that will add the repository. If it says already exists, then you already have it. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and copy this, sudo again, and then this will go out and it will install all of the individual things that need to be there. And then you can go through and launch the app. So I am already signed in. I am already signed in, so I can easily already see my stuff. And uh, But if you are not signed in, it'll start with this page open. You just need to enter your account details right here. You can enable the explicit content filter if you don't like it. You can change the audio quality here. And of course, there are tons of plugins like the notification, uh, native notification thing. So it'll show up like in your desktop. It'll, it'll give you notifications. You can scrabble to Last.fm, the music social network, by enabling this. Uh, you can do a lot of different stuff with the Pythos app, and uh, I know it shows like a quick mix right right here, which is just it just shows music that I want to listen to. But if you click quick mix, you can go through your saved music profiles here, and you can also just create a station. So if I want to listen to, let's say, uh, Green Day, I can just write Green Day, and I'll be able to search through it. I can also just go through my entire account of stuff and uh, it should play just fine. Um, so this is how to use Pythos. It's a Linux app. Pretty good. It's something that you definitely want to check out, especially if you don't like the web UI for Pandora. You want something that's native. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video, but this is, uh, this is just a simple video that I made to show you how to use it and I hope you enjoyed it.